Hello, this is Angela with Angela's Crafty Space, and today I am getting on board with the support for Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I went and bought several of her kits, which I have here that I'm going to show you. And then we're going to do a little project with them to show you how well they all go together and give her some support. And uh, yeah. So the first kit I have here is Raylan's Brothers, which she labeled it R.Y. Land's 1946 Invoice. So this kit has seven pages. And I took all the edges off. So you see one is a invoice with nothing on it. Then you get a sheet with four small ones. You get this sheet here with the flowers and the butterflies. And then you get a little label there and there. Same with this one, just a different color. She moved the flower up there. And then you get the two labels at the bottom as well. And this one here. With the two labels. So each of the invoices has the two labels. I've just noticed that. And then you also get a background page, which I just printed. I didn't put it on the back of each page because I didn't need to. And then I got the Awardian Supper BG. That's 11 pages. And this one I plan on making a journal with, so I printed it two-sided. It's a very beautiful kit. And you see the roses theme with the invoices with the roses. This kit with the roses. It's a very pretty kit. And again, you get the background page. Next is Victorian Florals. 11 pages. This one I had a little printer difficulty. I started printing on cardstock. So then I had to stop my printer. When I stopped it, it started printing over again from the beginning. So these two, I have two copies of. These are on cardstock, though. How beautiful those roses are. So pretty. And then you get a different variety of different color roses, different backgrounds, different colored backgrounds. There's the second one of that one. And there's the second one of that one. But I guess I got two of those and two of those. Okay. Anyway. You get the picture. All right. So that is Victorian Florals. 3BG. I don't know if that means number three backgrounds, maybe. Something like that. Then we got Beautiful Botanicals. This one is three pages. And you get these beautiful flowers. And she gives you that sheet. She gives you this sheet. So it's basically the same flowers. She just rearranged them. And then you get this one with them smaller. Then we got Victorian Scrap Flowers. Same thing. So she gives them to you on a page like this. And then you get them bigger. And then you get them on a page like this. love her kits. I didn't have any of her kits before. I think I had one. So it was special to me to go to buy these kits to help support Tina. So I hope you guys all feel the same way. I uh, This kit is called English Country Garden Fussy Cut Flowers. It's two pages, so you just get the two pages, but that's okay. I think this was 99 cents, so it wasn't a big deal. And then this is pink 
labels. P.S. Pink labels. So you get two pages. So it's this bigger one and then a smaller one. Then we got numbers and labels. So this one is a big kit and I had some printer difficulties again so I got a small page but it's 11 pages of labels. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those real quick. She does a good job with the variety. So she uses different background colors, different label colors, but the stuff inside the labels I noticed is all the same. Just the backgrounds change. And then she has them in black. And then this uh, grungy color. And again, there's 11 pages to this kit. It's a big kit. All right. And then the last but not least, I got a 57 piece autumn kit and it is five pages. And I think this is going to come in handy in autumn. So I went ahead and grabbed it now while we're all supporting her. Very cute. I think this could go for any time of year. I mean, some of them are autumn y, but not all of them. All right. So that's what we bought. And I wish I could have bought more, but I'm on a limited budget. So I did what I could do. I think I spent like $15.50, something like that. Uh, but it's not about that. It's about getting together and doing what we can do for each other. That's what this is all about. And showing Tina that she has support. Um, even if it's not with her ex-husband. But by her friends that love her and care about her and adore her. Then that's what she's going to get. So that's what we can do with this. Alright, so let's see what kind of project we might want to do. I was thinking... <clears throat> Of taking the ones that I accidentally printed on cardstock, scoring them up, and making some library pockets with them. Because then I could cover it with the one that's not on cardstock. That's what I was thinking. Alright, I'm going to cut these in half. So let's see, this is about how big. This is about seven, seven and a half-ish, so we'll go three and three-quarter-ish. That's three and three-quarter-ish. Let's see how we did. Ooh, I got it pretty close, but I cut it awfully crooked. <laughs> I don't know if that was before or just now I cut it crooked. It could have been from before when I cut the sides off. All right, let's see what we are here. We are seven and a couple ticks before. We did good there too. Okay, awesome. Now I'm gonna get my scoreboard. I find it. Oh, that's interesting. My scoreboard is nowhere to be found. Oh, there it is. Sorry, guys. Should have been ready. Scoreboard. Scoring tool. Alright. So what we're going to do is we are going to have it like this and then we're going to fold it up like this and we're going to cover this with the other paper so it's not white. So we just want to score about, I don't know, quarter of an inch. Oh geez, did that just do that? It did just do that. Dollar store. All right, then we'll just use the other end. About a quarter of an inch. 
all the way down. Turn your paper and score it a quarter of an inch all the way down again. And the other side just broke. I'm not even pressing hard. That one must have just been defective. Because I've used these all the time and never had that problem. It's so weird. All right. And then we want our pocket to be about three and a half inches. Yeah, that's a good size library pocket, right? I think so. All right, let's score our other ones. So we want to score at a quarter of an inch. all the way down. Turn our paper, quarter of an inch, all the way down. And then our pocket at three and a half. Love it. All right, let's do the next one. And then we'll, well, we're doing like a mask make in honor of Tina, right? That's what we're doing. So we're going to do a few of them in mass make style. And then, that'll be a video. All right, three and a half. And the last one, a quarter inch. Flip our paper quarter inch and then three and a half. Well, this one's going to be at four because I went to four by accident. All right, let's get rid of our scoreboard and let's find our papers. Well, let's, let's cut our pockets first. So, All right, so what we want to do is we're going to fold this up, and then these are going to fold back, like so, just to make it have a nice finished edge. So what we need to do is we need to cut on our score line at three and a half, and you want to cut it at an angle on that side, and cut it at an angle on that side. So you cut like a little notch out. That's what you want to do there. Okay, and then the bottom, those little score lines are going to get folded inward because that's going to make your gusset for your pocket. Okay, for your library pocket. And then these will fold back and you can glue those back so it has a finished look. And then this will get glued down on your page, you know, like library pockets do. So you don't have to worry about what the back looks like. So let's go ahead and notch all of our pockets. And make all our folds. And then we'll glue them all, and then we'll start to decorate. Oh, I just love these papers. I think they're so pretty. It helps me see the score lines folding them first, because otherwise it's hard for me to see them. I'm sure I'm not the only one with that problem. 
All right, so this one gets folded inward. Goes up like that. Now you can cut these ones off up here. I just fold them and glue them down because I know I'm gonna just glue this down on my page anyway. And then it gives you that nice finished look. So, all right, so let's go ahead and glue. I'm gonna use our glitter. There we go. Now we just need to cover this. And we'll have our beautiful library pockets. these finished glued up and then we can start the fun part of decorating. I think we just have one more after this. everybody doing? Hope you are all doing well. I know I've kind of been absent for a while and it's just life you guys. I try to be regular with my videos. Um, it's very hard for me uh, with my job and personal and mental and everything I have going on. It's just Sometimes it just gets in the way of things I want to do. I run out of spoons, I guess you could say. All right, there's all of our pockets. This one is the one I did it for. Okay, I was wondering why that one was so much smaller. All right, now let's get a piece of paper to cover our bottom. And it doesn't have to be the same piece, right? It could be any piece. So, there's the same piece. I'm just looking to see what I've got here that would match. This one would look good, actually. Yeah, let's use this one. Alright, I'm just going to put a little notch. Do it on the other side so I can see it. Right here. And right here. And then I'm going to use my little trigger. Just cut that down. just glue that onto there. 
like so. And that little bit of white that's showing through, I'll just ink it up. Somehow that got glued shut. Okay, there we go. Let me just glue this back down here. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but this one was just doomed from the beginning, I guess. All right, so then let's, uh, let's see. Let's get these done in mask make style. So what, what do we want to cover this one with? Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. a little bit better on that one. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, if you were going to eat these, of course, you would want to eat before you put the paper on. Perfect. Oh, these are so fun. Just to do a little library pocket. I'm having a blast. Using Tina's kids. Hanging out with you guys. I've been wanting to do a video for ages now. It just could not get it. The time, the energy, what I needed in order to actually sit down and do the video. I just couldn't get it together until this, um, until what happened with Tina and her video. And then I just, I was compelled. I couldn't not do a video for Tina, so... I guess with the right motivation, anything's possible. I'm not too talkative yet. Uh, that'll go with some time, I guess. So I do apologize for that. I don't have much to say. I don't like airing my life on YouTube. 
too much. Um, I just like to come on here and craft and talk um, about positive things, you know? And sometimes my life is not that positive, and I don't want to bring that up. So, but on a positive note, everything is a-okay at the moment. Or it will be a-okay soon. Alright, there we go. All of our pockets are covered. They all look amazing with Tina's papers on them. Now, let's see what we got. We got flowers. We got owls. Some fall stuff. Let's see. Let's decorate it with some of these flower kits that I bought. And some of these labels. Let's see what we got here. Definitely want one of the big labels. So let me just pull out the big label sheets and see what we got. The black one. This one. Okay. So these are the labels that we have. And I think I wanna definitely wanna put one on here. So let's see what we got. I think this one. Yeah. a flower on it. A nice big piece of rose. Let's see what this looks like. cutting real quick you guys sorry I didn't have a plan so there was no way I could have prepared so I do apologize but it's just gonna take a minute it's not a big deal you can fast forward or you can watch me fussy cut you always want to move your paper when you're fussy cutting not your scissors as you can tell my scissors have remained straight the whole time just about and yeah all right put the flower there we'll put the label there all right i'm gonna eat this flower a little bit because i left a lot of white in the hurriness all right and while we're at it we'll just ink up our label Then we're going to put the label down first and the flower on the label like that. I like it down here. Uh, what do I want to put underneath it? I feel like it needs something else. Uh, what else we got, Tina? Maybe one of these frames from this fall kit. As like a background kind of a thing. I think of this one with the butterfly.
Alright, we're just gonna give this a little eat. And I think what I'm gonna do is put that down first, then the label, then the flower. And then you have the little butterfly. Yes, I love it! Yay! Only using what we bought. Where's my our glitter glue? Oh, there it is. Alright, so the, this frame is going down first. And then the label. And then the flower. I absolutely love it! I'm so happy! Came out so nice. Using all different ones of Tina's kits. And I think I'm going to round the corners and then I'm going to call it a video. There we go. Library pocket. Love it. Using Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Does Kits. Tina, we love you. We pray everything goes well. For you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.